Welcome everybody to the Dance Ox Virtual Summer School 2020. I'm Sue Jones, Director of Dance Ox, that is Dance Scholarship Oxford, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to our virtual summer school. I have a number of thanks to make to all the people who contributed to this occasion, and I hope you're going to enjoy all the lectures um, that they gave. We have eight wonderful contributors, and um, I also want to thank St Hilda's College, the Jacqueline Dupre Music Building, and specifically James Adcock and Harris Ferguson, who made this recording possible behind the scenes. Um, I'm just going to tell you a very short outline of the summer school, how it's going to go. As I say, there are eight lectures. It's divided into two parts. The first part will be <coughs> a memorial to uh, Paul Taylor, a celebration of his life and work. Lecture number one will be by Alistair Macaulay, the international writer and critic of dance and drama, who will talk about Paul's life, talk about his work, and probably demonstrate some of the steps. Lecture number two is by Parisa Cobde. We're very lucky indeed to have a Paul Taylor dancer who, um, she's an internationally renowned dancer. She's also a repetiteur, teacher, dance maker and collaborator and worked for 16 years with Paul Taylor. She took her final bow at the Lincoln Center in 2019, and she will tell us something about uh, the technique, some of the ballets, and her experience of working with Paul. Lecture number three begins the second part of our summer school, which is really an interrogation of dance as text, text as dance, the interrelationship between dance and text, and uh, many other kinds of um, interdisciplinary relations. Lecture number three is Marcus Bell on tragedy and Pina Bausch. And this will look at the relationships between classical and postmodern dance at the turn of the 21st century. Lecture number four is Joseph Kay on the relationship between music and dance notation. Joseph is a composer and sound artist based in London, and he will be uh, exploring this particular relationship in a very particular way. Lecture number five is from Susie Crow, who is a local um, Oxford dance practitioner, choreographer, and teacher. She danced with the Royal and Sadler's Wells Royal Ballet and has um, many degrees on dance. And she's going to be looking at a detailed, giving us a detailed insight into a particular aspect of ballet class. Lecture number six is Gabriella Minden, on Rupert Doon and W.H. Auden. Uh, Gabriella is a doctoral candidate at the University of Oxford, and her research explores the impact of Diaghilev's ballet, Rus. So we will find out how that got into uh, Rupert Doon and W.H. Auden's collaboration. Lecture number seven is Megan Smith, who is an English finalist at Oxford, and she will talk about contemporary fiction and a new genre of dance writing in John Haskell's new novel. And finally, lecture number eight will be Anna Chamberlain, another finalist from Wadham at uh, the University of Oxford, and she will bring us back to German Expressionism but this time to look at the early 20th century at Hilda Holger and her interaction with expressionist photography 
and Expressionist dance. So as you can see, we've got a varied program and uh, we will, would encourage you all to ask questions from all the lecturers. And in order to do this, you can send all your questions to development.office at stilders.ox.ac.uk and you must put dance socks in the address line, please, and then in the content of the email, the surname of the lecturer and your question. We'll discuss all of these questions at a webinar which is to be announced. I will send you a link for that webinar. In the meantime, enjoy all of these wonderful lectures and my thanks to you for coming and joining us. Bye.